Good day everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a global and local variable. So for this example, I created here a program that could calculate the change of a customer when he or she buys a product. So for this example, we'll only have one product which costs, say for example, 168 pesos. So which among those variables will be the global variable and will be the local variable? Okay, so I have here a text box where the cashier will be able to input the monetary value of the customer and a button, okay, that once the cashier click on this button, calculate, the program will calculate how much will be the change of the customer, which will be displayed on this text box. Okay. So let's put functions or behavior in this program. Okay. So first, we should initialize the global variable, which will be the static variable meaning it will not be changed, it is static, and that is the cost of the product, which is 168 pesos. So to do that, okay, let's go to the variables drawer and get this code. Initialize global and let's change the name into price, which indicates it is the price for that product. Okay, and we should indicate the static value of that product, which is 168 pesos. Now, where can we get or where can we put the local variable and how can we do or indicate that local variable? Okay, so again, let's go back to the design. Once the cashier put the monetary value okay, of the customer, then the program will subtract the price, the global variable, to that monetary value. And this monetary value is dynamic. Okay? It's not constant. It might change. It might vary from 200 pesos, 500 pesos, 1,000 pesos. Okay? which means this one will be our local variable. And to present that on the code, okay, so let's go to the calculate button and pick this code on its drawer, meaning when the calculate button was clicked, what will happen? Okay, again, in the designer tab, if we click this one, the change of the customer will be displayed in this element. Okay, so let's get the change, okay, the text of the change. Okay, and we will set it to the difference of the monetary value, okay, minus the price. The, the static value, which is 168 pesos. Okay, so we will get the text input from the monetary value. That's one. Okay, and for us to be able to get the difference, we should have the code for subtraction from the math drawer. Okay, this one. And then this local var variable here will be put here. Okay. And then we'll get the global variable, which is the price. Okay. So this means that the Okay, the text that will be displayed in this one will be the change of the customer. OK, 
Okay, well, if we'll think about it, the input should be the monetary value minus the price of the product. Which means, again, this one, this variable monetary value is dynamic. It could be changed from 200, 500, and 1,000. But the global variable here is static. It will not be changed. It will always be 168 pesos. Okay. So let's see if this code gives us the correct change of the customer say for example the customer has given 1000 pesos okay and when the cashier clicked on the calculate value yes it's correct the customer will be given the change 832 pesos which means our code was correct the price which is the global price or the global variable that contains 168 was deducted from the monetary value 1000 and gave us the difference 832. Next, how about if the monetary value of the customer is 500? Okay, so the change should be 332 pesos. Okay, so the program gave us the correct answer. Say, for example, the customer gave 200 pesos. Okay, so the change will be 32 pesos. Okay, so I hope you learned something from this video and see you again for the next video. God bless everyone.